So we are at the National Frontier Trails Museum. We're very excited because we have been closed since March of 2020 with, when COVID hit the area. It's kind of our big, big opening day for the Trails Museum. We're also celebrating the Missouri Bicentennial. We have an 11 o'clock and 1.30 p.m. Pup Terry Arts show, Bicentennial Bash. Uh, we also have the excerpts from the Oregon Trail Suite that'll be played today. We have two uh, trail experts that'll be giving some presentations. And then we end the day with free ice cream, which is Missouri's official dessert. It's the bicentennial of the state of Missouri is celebrated this week, but also it's the bicentennial of the Santa Fe Trail. So 200 years ago, basically the trail, the Santa Fe Trail was starting. And what's significant about the National Frontier Trails Museum is right on this spot, when the original plat map for the City of Independence, right outside the building here was the city spring where the wagon trains would fill up with water before they headed west. The Independence is the, known as the Queen City of the Trails. This is really the primary uh, jumping off point. This is kind of the last uh, on the edge of civilization, if you will, so everybody would get supplies and everything uh, set up for their journey west. But also the Lewis and Clark Trail, we, we celebrate that, and also the Mormon Trail. So really five trails originated from this area. We've heard a lot of folks that are so interested in coming back, going through the museum again. So that's really what we're trying to do, is get, get the word out, get people excited about coming back and visiting the museum.